spin my clock, I can't stop Fuck around, make my 40 pop No bought kind, I bought pistols Leaving my body, calling no issue You real sick, you need a tissue You drop a body, I Fast as fuck, boy Still fast as fuck, boy Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is how to do the perfect 90s. Now obviously mine is not perfect, kind of a clickbait there, so I kind of do apologize, but I'm going to show you guys step by step how I do my rotations. I do avoid the actual floor, as you can see there. That's how I do mine. Because of this method, if I do that, that usually happens, and we cannot have that happen. So basically, how you get into it, you got your, kind of your middle beam here, your left and then your right beam. Sometimes I do stick to the middle of the left beam, place your wall, as soon as I get to this top peak, I'll kind of turn, jump and place at the ramp at the same time. I do sometimes hit the back wall, which does slow me down, but when I don't hit the back wall, it just works like an absolute charm. Now the way to practice it, just kind of do it slowly, just like this until you can speed it, wow, just until you can speed it up, and then it should <laughs> look better, but anyway, let me just get all the way down, I think I should swap it to steel, now you got your beam here, so you got the center beam, most of the time you would see me run on the edge, turn as soon as I got the top wall placed I'll turn jump you need to jump in the air and put that back wall and the platform at the exact same time I'm not just kind of practice that I know a lot of people do this 90 which I cannot do forgive me about that It's better if you can do it in a triple 90 because you're doing your single set of 90s like your two 90s is quick but if somebody's gonna 90 as well sometimes if I do it way too quickly it kind of just screws out with me if if you're doing a triple 90 it's gonna give you that advantage I mean uh, you look at mongrel he's got that method let me just be a normal person that's his 90, that's your opponent's 90, this is the mongrel 90s. Do three, step out, three again. You see that advantage that I got right there. That person doesn't stand a chance if he's just going to do a single set of 90s. I mean, the, it's, it's just the best way to practice it is doing it slowly. As you turn, you need to jump and place the back wall and the ramp, kind of simultaneously, like that. It's difficult to do it slowly, I mean it, it would work if you first place a wall then jump, but I try and turn and do everything. Oh, it's so difficult to explain it slowly, I mean see there, I even skip the back wall. I'm just trying to do it quick so you guys can see when Because obviously with turbo building you need to... Well that's also a good way to practice it, just keep... Uh, just trying to... It's probably something I should have tested out before I actually showed it to you guys. Okay, as soon as I get to this top peak, sometimes I do hit the back wall but as soon as I turn and place that wall, I jump and then I place a ramp. See what I mean? Just so that, just so that, that doesn't happen. If you're going to place a ramp too early, you're going to end up with a situation like that, which you don't want. So you want that wall in front of you, and then you got to. So you're going to keep down turbo build until you see the that wall, and then you're going to jump. You'll. The quicker you do it, the more you do it, you'll immediately know. See, now I'm literally just 
jumping onto the back wall. It goes a bit quick if you actually don't touch the back wall. So let's do that without touching the back wall. See now that looks like I'm touching the back wall. But if you had to slow it down, I'm turning at this point. Jumping at the same time. Now that is all to do with my dead zone because I'm able to turn extremely fast. It's just a way to practice it guys. Just run it out slowly. And now you also don't want to run too far and then... Okay, well, sometimes it works. Don't look too far down and do that because then you're just going to report to yourself. Just take, take it slow like this. Run on the far left of your ramp at the peak. Turn. Place your wall, place your ramp. This is exactly how I practiced it until I was able to build down the muscle memory. And then you can start doing it quicker. It's like when they say how to do the double ramp brush, the three layer double ramp brush. They tell you to just do it slowly first. So you want to take your time, go about three layers, three to four layers, and then you start picking up the wow. Start picking up the pace. And trust me, guys, in a bull battle, doing the mongrel version. Exactly like that helps so much unless you're going to go up to somebody who has perfected these 90s, which I can't do. You see, I report to myself if I put a, and I kind of jump down. So I just stick to the normal 90s that I know. I'm not even going to bother with the other 90s. So do your triple 90s. Look, well, first master the actual double 90s and then worry about the triple 90s. Then you can start worrying about your edits, you know. Anyway, guys, it's just a little short video, my Sunday video. It's a short video. Stay tuned for this week's going to be a proper, decent, brand new educational commentary. I know you guys are going to enjoy that. But I had a comment asking me to do a... How do I do my 90s video? And this is... Wow! And this is just basically the... R290s. Understand my ping is high. It's difficult to do smooth, perfect 90s. If I try and do it... Too quick, it kind of... Just want to see if I can get it to glitch out. It just glitches out if you do it too quickly. You see there? So I need to pace myself when doing the 90s. Come on, let me get it to glitch out if I try and do it too quickly. See, I report to myself if you jump too late. You want to have that smooth, seamless 90 transition just like that. That's what you want. See, there I'm glitching out because I'm trying to do it too quickly. So I didn't even spam my bulls there. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, smash the subscribe button, and like I said, just do it slowly. Stick to the left, wall, turn, wall, jump, ramp. Wall, turn, wall, jump, ramp. Just keep doing it slowly like this until you guys get the hang of it, and then you can speed it up, and get jump fatigue, and then just fall down to your death, whatever. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. GG. Bye.